Welcome back. Now Brad Barnes has this week's Wildcat Sports Report. Welcome back for another week's edition of the Wildcat Sports Report, and what a week it has been for the Cats. Baker has combined for a total record of 37-15 and 15 this fall between soccer, volleyball, and football, and also ranks among the top of the conference in cross country. Although the 71% success rate is impressive, one Baker team is not satisfied with anything less than perfect. The men's soccer team continued their dominance on October 8th as they pushed their undefeated streak to 11-0, now 2-0 in the conference. The Wildcats came into Liston Stadium in a matchup against Graceland University and saw a slow start missing Heart of America Player of the Week, Donnie George. The first half of play was scoreless for both sides, but Tom Lowndes led the charge for Baker after scoring on two penalty kicks, giving the Wildcats a 2-0 advantage. Nick Ebmeyer added a goal in the 74th minute, and Richard Klein added insult to injury with a goal in the 85th minute to give Baker the 4-0 lead. The Wildcats are one of only three undefeated teams remaining in the top 25, and will look to improve their number six national ranking when the polls are released on October 11th. The women's soccer team also found success on October 8th as they beat Graceland 3-2. It was a historical day for the Cats as they gave Graceland their first conference loss in over five seasons. Jordan Dolbin led the scoring for the Cats with two goals and Ashley Ukina also added a goal in the contest. The women's team will also gear up against Mid-America on the 12th. Game time starts at 1 p.m. Good luck to both soccer teams. Soccer was not the only squad having success on October 8th as the volleyball and football teams recorded a victory as well. Graceland University started their dreaded week against Baker on October 4th after falling 3-1 to one to give head coach Kathy Allen her 300th career win. Every single solitary college win that I can claim in my career has been right here at Baker University. The Cats continued their impressive season against Tabor College on October 8th where they won the match 3-0. The squad will travel to Benedictine College on October 11th where they will fight to keep their undefeated record in the Heart of America Conference alive. Game time is set for 7 p.m. Mike Grossner and his Wildcat football team also performed strong on the impressive Baker Saturday as they beat Avila 37-20. The 0-6 Eagles struggled all day against the Cats as they tried to contain their potent offense. Jake Morris had a standout performance as he completed 20 of his 26 passes for 298 yards and three touchdowns. This performance was worthy of a Heart of America Offensive Player of the Week award. Tyler Hatcher led the receiving attack with three catches for 88 yards. Jake Green caught six passes for 82 yards and Kyle Bolton led the way on the ground with 66 yards. On the defensive side, Emerson Clark, Trevor Bozak, and Steve Sanders all had interceptions, while Adrian Pearson was stellar once again with 13 tackles. Baker now faces a bye week and will begin preparation for Culver Stockton on homecoming on October 22nd. Baker Cross Country continued its impressive season at the Gary Stoner Invitational on October 8th. Jake Way and Caldwell were dominant once again, taking second and eighth place finishes. Jake Way's 5K time of 18.57 beat all but one Division II runner. Caldwell finished the 8K in 26 minutes 14 seconds. Ashley McBride took the 11th spot finish alongside teammate Kerry Curta at 14. Corey Clark finished on the men's side at 17. The men placed third overall and the men were able to snatch a fourth place spot on the weekend. They will be off for a week and then head to Winfield, Kansas on October 22nd for the Mid-States Classic. This past weekend wrapped up the intramural flag football season at Baker. Balls Deep faced off against Pony Express to see who would be named the 2011 intramural flag football champions. After going into overtime, Balls Deep got the victory to continue their undefeated streak for the season. That's all for the Wildcast Sports Report. I'm your host, Brad Barnes. Until next week, keep winning. Back to you, Alex. Thanks, Brad. This wraps up this week's episode of Orange Line. I'm your host, Alex Shiraldi. Have a fantastic week.